Carl Island to acting now gives it to Keegan Hurst and Hurst over the 20 and another penalty well, the big man to put down I'm not quite sure how uh, Dixon lifted him up then he had a bit of help and Halifax turning down the opportunity of two points looking for an early try if they can get one as Morris gets it at the second attempt good leg drive from Morris takes him to within five metres of the Eagles line and Carlisle gets the ball away Gilmore has support Morell to Grix Grix to Woodburn all and McGrath in at the corner well a diving effort from Conor McGrath and Halifax did right to turn down the penalties turn down the two points rather With four and a half minutes gone on the clock, easy the ball to come from Conor McGrath after a previous hat trick against the Eagles. Well, not so good for Steve Tyler, drifting it wide to the right hand side of the upright, but Halifax have the early points and the early confidence. Short ball. A good charge, but Halifax. Managing to maintain the defensive structure so far as Farrell kicks again and uh, the referee has given a knock on and it came off his foot. Ball comes out wide, Farrell no look pass. Guzdek gets the ball out and Eagles giving a try to Ryan Miller as much to the... Uh, well the eyesight of the referee who should have seen that the ball came off the foot of Woodburn Hall three minutes gone in the first half four points all and Sheffield attacking again with uh, Dixon carting it up into the Halifax red zone and Oliver Roberts is screaming it to the defence and Morell puts in a massive hit and that is a superb tackle from Halifax captain Morell that left Isaac Farrell probably wondering what had hit him there well, it looked like he was watching the man and not the ball there the Eagles stand off within 30 metres of that Eagles line and the uh, well, ball is dropped so a good break by Curtis Davis just couldn't, he couldn't keep hold of the ball Davis on for Keel Carlisle who's receiving attention in the uh, Halifax dugout from the, at the moment and another penalty Farrell gets up uh, swinging on Kevin Laroya so Laroya just pushing him away Kevin Laraya goes to the Simbin for 10 minutes. So, whatever the touch you just said, Paddy Burns tackled. Macklin caused problems once already. Not going to get the opportunity this time as Halifax eventually bring him down with his head almost on the Halifax try line there. Farrell looking to make the advantage favour. Halifax moving out quickly and making the tackle Oliver Roberts and again there's a charge for the Halifax line but desperate defence just keeps that line intact for now and then there's a knock on and Halifax see that as, uh, as justice for that penalty that went against them the second one that uh, the Halifax players and supporters alike have questioned Elliot Morris is swapped for Bria Lears Ricks goes down the middle and rips the uh, Eagles defence apart with a good strong run well penalties have been given for less Salt and Stahl skips away from two can't get through the third Fleming looked for support, found nobody with him. 
had to take it on his own it's the last tackle Halifax 23 metres away from the Eagles line with a kick from Morell and that one taken by Miller Dan Fleming driving forward but uh, only a allowed to do it with one leg and the Sheffield defender lifts his other off the ground Brearley goes again takes it over halfway and Halifax will have to kick with it being the last tackle ball charged down and there's problems here as uh, Robbie Ward chases after it and Robbie Ward has he got it? well the touch judge is going to give it because he was nowhere near it well Sheffield knew what was coming because it was going to Morell for the kick and Robbie Ward put the pressure on Morell Ward winning the race for the touchdown and Isaac Farrell this time converts Davis to Morell Morell puts Fleming in a gap but Fleming just doesn't have the support to get the ball away Davis to Morell Morell to Roberts and Roberts Roberts edging his way towards the line there's a load of defenders there and Roberts still stretching for the line has to get up and play it Davis out to Griggs Griggs out to Conor McGrath back inside to Woodburn and all but the pass has been deemed to be forward by the referee good quick incisive play from Halifax but no rewards Briolet Griggs out to Gilmore Gilmore to Tyra well that's what you don't often see Rob Warren see with a solid tackle on Tyra needed some assistance and Tyra took a knock to the back of the neck Griggs steps inside Warren set Brown steers him into the tackle of uh, Corey McAlim Brielet looking for the step former standoff Brielet not seen many 6 foot 8 standoffs in the game of rugby league Griggs kicks to the corner and Salt was stall almost there Sheffield forced to put the ball out of play drop out under the post Halifax will look to put more pressure on Halifax looking perhaps wanting it nearer the post and going for the line still can't get over light on oh that must be a chance surely for Keegan Hurst Hurst is over the line he's got the ball down on the line has it not so say the officials oh and that one looked like it could have gone Halifax managed to get to it but it's been ripped out surely it's six more tackles well maybe too late now but uh, the Eagles will light on this side of the field but Tyra has shrugged away Warren to, to take the ball in off Morell's kick again absolutely on a sixth from Scott Morell and Steve Tyra does it again for Halifax leaping into the air taking the ball down still had Warren to contend with but managed to brush Warren to aside this time and it's not that long ago that Warrensy made a big hit on Tyra but unable this time to stop him going over and Steve Tyra and once again rising majestically above the defence and this time it is successful with a conversion that levels the scores and will they spurn the two points 10 points all they probably fancy the chances for there of uh, getting over the whitewash Blake Broadbent stopped 2 metres out took some stopping the defence has been pulled in for Halifax as Farrell goes for the line Farrell is he held up he's not held up Farrell's gone over the line and the Eagles as Halifax did in the first half turned down the two but turn it into four Isaac Farrell for a six point lead converting his brother's try which he does so successfully (laughs) 
Dixon takes it to the 30 last tackle good defence from Halifax but need to have people drop back so the stars moved up Griggs able to stop it a metre in from touch but where will he go from here well he'll go on the floor as uh, well play on how can he give a knock on when the ball's gone backwards the ball came out backwards and was facing his own post well, it would have appeared that that one was one of those decisions until by the reaction of the crowd Farrell will go for the one pointer and that may be all that uh, Sheffield need with less than 10 minutes to go Morell to Fairbank, Fairbank puts the ball down, Morell gets it back again, turns it back inside but Halifax unable to find the gap in this Eagles defence so far, Breale is it Keegan Hurst it is who'll uh, go on his own, looks for support, gets the pass away Connor Davis I think it was who was behind him but couldn't make the line Halifax, have they got options have they got numbers, Gilmore kicks behind the defence, will get six more tackles, Gilmore still going gets the ball away to Fleming Fleming put down, Halifax with plenty of tackles in the bag now as Gilmore gets it over the top, Solenstall in at the corner, no question over the pass this time six and a half minutes left and Solenstall has given Halifax hope with a long from a long lofted pass over the top going down, Tyra has put it to the right hand side of the upright three tackles gone, Halifax still in their own half Davis to Keegan Hurst and Hurst will not taken down legally say the uh, Halifax supporters as Woodburn all takes it over the 40 metre line last tackle, what have Halifax got left in the locker with four and a half minutes to go Morell a kick and hope one. Oh, it's a swing of the foot from Tyra Salt and Stall has work to do gets it to inside to Garside Garside looks around and finds Fairbank Fairbank kicks across field where's it going to go will it finish up in Halifax and it has done unbelievable Oliver Roberts has gone over referee said he's held up and it's a turnover well Halifax being denied again that will take some looking at to decide if that ball went was touched down then by Halifax early kick from Macklin going for the 40-20 Grix stops it with his legs nothing silly as Grix tries to make a way through 2 minutes 47 5 tackles to go surely that's offside from Burns Davis gives it to Woodburn Hall, can he find a way through the Jamaican international gets over the 40 back in centre field to Morell, Morell to Gilmore, Gilmore out to Grix, Grix to Tyra touched by Warrenty, six more tackles Grix finds a bit of a gap Sheffield Eagles close it down, 2 minutes 16 seconds still six tackles Davis to Gilmore to Fleming is there another twist left in this with two minutes left now Gilmore out to Morell Morell gets the ball away they're not going to deny him this time Paul Brealy has got over for Halifax well it should have been his second try but it doesn't matter it's his first and that's all that matters to Halifax 